Good day, super fans, and welcome to the second semi-final of Super Chat 2019. In today's episode, eight contestants will compete for two spots in the top 25. Each contestant will be asked the exact same question, which they will hear for the first time. A panel of five judges and your votes as the sixth judge will determine which two will advance to the top 25 on December 6. Let's start with the winner of Super Chat number 7, Maria Elena Antelo Molina from Bolivia. So, Bolivia, your first question is, is there an important event in your life, good or bad, that still influences your life nowadays? En español, mm -hmm. ¿hay algún evento importante en tu vida, bueno o malo, que todavía al sol de hoy, al día de hoy, mm -hmm. influencia en tu vida? Bueno, sí, efectivamente hay un hecho muy importante que ocurrió hace siete años. There is a very important event that occurred seven years ago. Que fue el, la pérdida de un familiar, mi abuelito. It was the, uh, the loss of my grandfather. Y que me dejó una gran enseñanza de cómo valorar la vida. And it left me a great learning experience on how to value life. Eh, gracias a ello aprendí a valorar lo que es estar el tiempo con tu familia, valorar el tiempo con tus amigos y, y sobre todo a que en muchas ocasiones... So, overall, it um, gave me the, the learning experience of knowing how to cherish your family, your friends, and overall... Y en muchas ocasiones uno como persona suele dejar, eh, no sé, lo más importante que es pasar tiempo con tu familia por tal vez divertirte con, no sé, con cualquier otra cosa. So, it, um, I learned to not just waste time of not being with my family uh, just because I just want to go and have fun with mm -hmm. someone, like, in general. <laughs> y um, gracias a ellos es que ahora eh, estoy muy agradecida con Dios por todas las oportunidades que me ha dado en la vida y lo tomo como que yo tengo que aprovechar y tengo que saber cómo seguir adelante porque fue una pérdida muy muy fuerte. So thanks to this, I've learned how to um, manage. Uh, Perdona, me repite otra vez eso que me perdiste. <laughs> <laughs> ¿Qué parte? <laughs> eh, la última parte que contestaste. Bueno, de que gracias a bueno me ha dejado una enseñanza muy grande que es aprender a valorar lo que es la vida. So it has uh, given me a very valuable lesson in life that it's pretty much just to appreciate life. Aprovechar y valorar cada momento con las personas que llegan a tu vida. Appreciate all the moments that you have with people that surround you. Mm -hmm. Y que Dios eh, te pone ciertas personas en tu vida por algo y porque te traen algo bueno para ti. And that God puts certain people in your path because they will bring something good for you. Sí. <laughs> So, thank Así you. Hablando, pero... <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, well, you have to keep on talking. Tienes que seguir hablando porque ah, bueno. vamos para la pregunta dos. Pues, okay. <laughs> What's the most important contribution your country has given to the world? ¿Cuál es la contribución más importante que tu país le ha dado al mundo? Okay. <laughs> bueno, eh, una de las contribuciones más grandes que tiene Bolivia es ofrecerle al mundo entero los hermosos lugares turísticos que tiene. So one of their contributions that Bolivia has to offer to the world is the amazing touristic place that it has. Um, tenemos lo que es la Amazonía, que es eh, totalmente natural, natural, verdes. Tenemos la flora y fauna. We have a part of the Amazon, Amazonia. Amazon, yeah. A part of the Amazon, which is totally uh, nature, very yes. green, uh, with a lot of flora and fauna. Mm -hmm. And Ay, ya iba a hablar inglés. <risa> <risa> y también tenemos el, el Salar de Uyuni, que es uno de los lugares turísticos más visitados por el mundo. Um, Salar de Uyuni. De Uyuni. Yeah, the Salt of Flat. How do you say it in English? The Salt of Flat. The Salt of Flat. Of Flat. Ajá, Salar de Uyuni. Okay, so that, <laughs> they also have it in Bolivia, which is a world, a very, very huge place visited by tourists. Um, que, bueno... Explícame en español lo que era lo del salar. Bueno, es, es, todo, es todo un desierto, uh -huh. todo un desierto totalmente cubierto de, de sal. It's a, it's 
a full desert just covered mm -hmm. by salt. Mm -hmm. Además de eso, también tenemos en la parte de la Amazonía nuestros propios delfines. Oh, sí. So, um, not only that, but in the Amazon Amazonian part, we also have our own dolphins, mm -hmm. que son nuestros bufeos rosados. Bufeo. Bufeo rosado. Sí. <laughs> And what else? We have a lot of beautiful places. And we have a lot of beautiful yeah. places. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for your yeah. second question. Thank you. Which major world event in the past would you be willing to change and how would you change it? ¿Qué gran evento mundial del pasado quisieras cambiar y cómo lo cambiarías? Bueno, eh, me considero una persona que no ve el color de piel o la raza. So I consider myself as a person that I don't see color nor, nor race. Y, lo que me ha marcado hasta hoy y de que si pudiera tener la oportunidad lo cambiarías es el tiempo de donde existían los perjuicios raciales. So, um, if I could have the chance to change something would be the past events where there were a lot of um, prejudice, uh, racial prejudice. Uh -huh. Y la manera en cómo trataría de cambiarlo ahora, eh, como dice Nelson Mandela, como decía Nelson Mandela en una frase que me encanta mucho, es que la educación es la herramienta más poderosa para poder cambiar el mundo. So, if, how would I change it? It would be um, with one of the phrases that Nelson Mandela says, with education, because education is one of the most powerful um, weapons in the world. Mm -hmm. So, yo creo que deberíamos empezar desde la educación en casa y luego desde la educación en colegio. Y así yo creo que de a poco se puede llegar a, a lograr cambiar algo bueno en el mundo. So I think that education starts at home and uh, after home then school. And I think that with education that we could change the world. Thank you. Gracias. Thank you. <laughs> Next up is winner of Super Chat number 8, Chaleika Vélez from Puerto Rico. So Chaleika, your first question is, Is there an important event in your life, good or bad, that still influences your life nowadays? Well, I would say it was the day I graduated from 12th grade, and it still influences me because I remember when I graduated, I really didn't know what, I, what, what, I, what was I going to do with my life, like where, what path I was going to take. And to this day, I still believe that I have so much to do and so much to accomplish that that day influences me because that was a big step in my life. So every step that I take, I remember about that day, about the day I graduated and that I become like a big girl, like you say, and started to de decide and make my decisions. Thank you. Your second question is, what's, what's the most important contribution your country has given to the world? I believe it will be the abolition of slavery when all of the slaves were free on March 22, 1874, because everybody is, deserves to live a free and a happy life. Every, no, no person deserves to be slave just because of their color. I believe everybody's equal, and by March 22, everybody was freed, and Africans and Um, people from Haiti were brought to the island to, for, to do agriculture and, and to work in mines and after Puerto Rico fight so much for them to be freed. And your third question is, what major world event in the past would you be willing to change and how would you change it? Can you repeat the question? I'm sorry. Yeah. Which major world event in the past would you be willing to change and how would you change it? I would say when Puerto Rico was colonized, like we were invaded and I believe that we all deserve spaces in, in our world, but the way that, we, that it was by killing our natives and making them do stuff that weren't right, I believe that that was wrong and I would change it because we, 
we could all make a world a happy place and I believe there was a different way like to to do that not to to eliminate like our race and the, I believe that that will be the one thing I'll change thank you our ninth semi-finalist is Gia Loren Gomez from Trinidad and Tobago so are you ready yes <laughs> <laughs> So your first question is, is there an important event in your life, good or bad, that still influences your life nowadays? An event. Um, I would like to believe an event that I am looking forward to is definitely at this moment Miss Supranational. Uh, beyond that, you know, it's not only this competition that's the end all be all and end all. I'm also looking forward to uh, continuing my work with my company, uh, launching my outreach projects for the kids, trying to advocate for cancer because my dad, I lost him to colon cancer and I want to use this platform to develop some sort of campaigns and projects coming out from that. Those are the events that I'm looking forward to. Uh, other than Miss Supranational, I want to use this platform for this. Thank you. Your second question is, what's the most important contribution your country has given to the world? Wow, Trinidad and Tobago, just this tiny 1.3 million people, as maybe tiny as we are, we are so grand in our culture and our warmth in what we have given to the world uh, carnival, to say the least, our culture, our music, our dance. Um, the economy is fast paced, it's growing. I am happy with our education system. I am a product of that. And I would like to showcase more of what we can share with Miss Supranational and by extension the world. I'm proud to be Trinidadian. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And your third and final question, which major world event in the past would you be willing to change and how would you change it? Hmm. Major world event? Mm -hmm. In the past. Hi, hi, hi. I would say any sort of, any form of war. So we've had many wars and in Trinidad and the rest of the world and I want to take that element of from people I want to take that away from them and change people's mindsets uh, we are so tiny but the little that we can do and share the light to the world I want to somehow give a positive outlook for people and that they can see the best in the little that they can do. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>
really laugh out loud right now. Um, but it really helped me understand or try to find the beauty in who I am and to really take away what people's opinions are of me because in the end, it doesn't really matter what they say, it's how I feel inside. And throughout the years from that time, I've grown to love myself more. And I think that's the most important lesson that taught me, even though it may have been a negative impact on me in that moment. Good. Second question. What's the most important contribution your country has given to the world? I think the best contribution that Thailand has given to the world is not something that is physical, but what we believe in and our values and how we choose to share that with the world. Like how we are always smiling, which is why we're called the land of smiles. We're always kind and considerate towards other people and very welcoming for people to come into our country and enjoy our touristic values and everything. And I think that it's really the qualities from within each individual Thai person that contributes to how others see what our country is like. Thank you. And your last question. Which major world event in the past would you be willing to change and how would you change it? Is this regarding Thailand? In general, in the world. Okay. That's a, that's a difficult question. <laughs> um, there is always a lot of issues in the world and it's, I think it's important to understand that not only one person can change it, it takes a lot of influencing and inspiration from one person to another to carry on that message. And I think that just to talk about Thailand, there was an issue in the past about politics and how that divided the country between rich and poor. And I think that that's something that needs to be reconsidered or changed because in the end, we're all one society and we all share the same values and money should not be something that separates us. It should be something that you know helps us grow. And if I could change that, I would change how the government chooses to use value, their values and how they say, like, you know, Buddhist values into inspiring people to work as a union rather than to separate each other based on who is rich or who is poor. Thank you. So that was it. Really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're done. Thank you. <laughs> now let's hear from Gabriela de la Cruz from Venezuela. Lita. Sí. <laughs> so your first question is, is there an important event in your life, good or bad, that still influences your life nowadays? Te la voy a repetir en español. Mm -hmm. ¿Hay algún evento importante en tu vida, bueno o malo, que todavía influencia en tu vida diaria? Well, yes, I think my dream always and my dream always since I was a child is be a beauty queen and I think every Venezuela woman is, is half that dream. So, in the moment when they shows me, they shows me like Miss International Venezuela, I think really this that moment changed every every my life. Fue increíble ese momento cuando me cambió, me cambió la vida. He conocido a muchísimas personas desde ese entonces y mi vida cambió, dio un giro de 360 grados. So it's changed my life. Um, it, I have met a lot of people since that day and literally my life has given a 360 uh, spin. It has yeah. changed a lot. <laughs> yes, of course. Really, I feel that I turned from a younger to an independent woman just with the Miss International Venezuela in Venezuela. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Your second question. What's the most important contribution your country has given to the world? ¿Qué, eh, ¿Cuál es la contribución más importante que tu país le ha dado al mundo? Well, my country is in a really bad situation now. And I just can say that 
the Venezuelans are people very entrepreneurs and they always want to to progresar progress progress they always want to progress and of course they go out to the country and work hard every day and i think really all the venezuelans are in other country they are con contributing con contributing they are they are contributing and in that country so i think que los venezolanos están en los otros países también contribuyendo a los otros y dando el, ejem dando el mejor ejemplo para que no pasen por la misma situación que ha pasado Venezuela. So I think that all the Venezuelans that are in other countries are hard, um, working hard to make those countries good and to give out a, a very good image and to help them not go through the same things that Venezuela is going through. Yeah. Your third and final question. Which major world event in the past would you be willing to change and how would you change it? ¿Cuál gran evento mundial en el pasado te gustaría cambiar y, por qué lo cam y cómo lo cambiarías? Wow. <laughs> well, I think the... Las guerras mundiales. The world, uh, world wars. Yeah, I think the world wars. Because... A lot of innocent people died in that moment, and a lot of people eh, suffered. Suffered? Suffered. A lot of people suffered, and I think we needed a, a love for for para que no vuelva a pasar. Um, so that it won't happen again. Yeah, we need love that this not happen again. <laughs> Gracias. Gracias. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Next up is Yannick Maceta from Peru. So, first question is, is there an important event in your life, good or bad, that still influences your life nowadays? I strongly believe that every single thing that happens to my life, it's important for me. Uh, good or bad, I always take a good lesson out of it. I always try to learn something. I don't let a bad situation um, kind of bring me down. So I do think that everything happens for a reason and every single thing that happened in my life um, just helped me to be where I am right now. And it's still uh, helping me to grow more every day. Your second question is, What's the most important contribution your country has given to the world? Well, I think we all know that Peru, it's a big gastronomy place. <laughs> so I, I think that that's a good contribution that they bring to the world. I also think that, um, well, actually the Peruvian cuisine is being like number one for so long and you have to try it. Have you tried Peruvian food? I have. There's <laughs> Peruvian restaurants back home too. Yeah, <laughs> I'm craving some ceviche right now so bad. But I think that that's the gastronomy and also like the whole culture, the musical, um, the Inca empire. There's so many things I could tell about my country <laughs> that I will have no time to actually answer it. And last, which major world event in the past would you be willing to change and how would you change it? Oh, that's a hard question because there's so many bad things that happens in the past and pro probably currently like happening today that it's still like a past thing because happened this year. I will say um, if I have to change something from the past that it's been I think last year and this year will be mass shootings. That's something that I strongly feel that um, empathy for those people. You know that the first time I, I went to New York, I saw that there was a school shooting. They killed like these little kids and I just, it was heartbroken. And I was like, how is this happening? Like how this is still happening? Why it's not banned? Why, what are we doing as a society that we don't speak up in order to stop it? Because it's not that, that we are just like here not doing anything. We have a voice, but the thing is like, we have to actually raise awareness about that and states have to ban guns and violence. It's just 
that's a horrible thing to just like think about and there's so many innocents life being killed daily about that. So I will change that. So that's it. You're done. That was it. <laughs> Thank you. team also selected two wild cards and first up is Rasham Ramirez Said from the Philippines. So you're our first wild card. Yes I am. Are you ready? <laughs> I am. Okay so your first question is is there an important event in your life good or bad that still influences your life nowadays? Yes actually I always um, go back to the moment when I used to compete um, in my swimming competitions. And I remember I had prepared so well. Um, I trained every day and I still came third place. And the reason why that memory holds so close to me is because it's a reminder that no matter how much you prepare, no matter you have all the cards placed in front of you and you think you're gonna make it, there's always gonna be someone out there that might be better than you or that might have prepared more than you have. So learn from that moment and move on. Take the lessons that it teaches you. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> your second question is, what's the most important contribution your country has given to the world? I think one of the most important contribution that my country gives is the workforce. There's a lot of Filipinos, you'll come across Filipinos in every part of the world. And I think that's because we are so um, hardworking and we're so resilient in our goals and the things that we want to achieve in the world that we leave our countries to provide for our families back home. Sometimes we um, sacrifice a lot just to give back to not only our families, but to um, kind of promote the Pinoy culture, Pinoy, the Pino uh, promote the Pinoy um, legacy, you know, and I think that's, that has to be the best thing that us Filipino give to the world is our passion and our workforce. We go to different countries and spread the Pinoy love. <laughs> <laughs> and your last question, which major world event in the past would you be willing to change and how 
would you change it? Major world event that I would. There was this one boxing match between um, Manny Pacquiao that, you know, I remember it happened two years ago when I was in university. And I was there with all my Pinoy friends watching from Canada. And there was so much pride in the air and there was so much um, drama, you know? We get really worked up with our boxing mm -hmm. matches. So I remember sitting there like, I know Manny got this. I know he's gonna win. I know he's gonna bring back the award, not the crown. Um, the belt. The belt. <laughs> and he lost that night. Um, and I still think he gave it as all. And sometimes to this day, the Filipinos still talk about that match. But if there was something I could change, um, in a light-hearted sense, I think that would be the one. <laughs> that would be when one night, I think the Filipino people were really um, betting on that fight. So I think, yeah, that's the one thing I would pick. Yeah. Thank you. That was Thank it. You, Valeria. <laughs> and finally, we have Jessica Van Galen from Ireland. So your first question is, is there an important event in your life, good or bad, that still influences your life nowadays? Absolutely. September 6, 2009, my life changed, unfortunately for the worse. My dad um, went driving one day on his motorcycle and never came home. So for me, it was very detrimental. I was only 18 years old and I was a first week into university. But the one thing that I learned from it well, the initial thing I learned from it, because I've learned a lot, but the initial thing was that life is short and you never know how much time you have left, so that you need to make the most of it and you need to be appreciative for everything that you have. I was a full-ride academic scholarship at my university and everyone wanted me to... to, to defer. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Everyone wanted me to defer. They wanted me to take a year off, focus on myself, get better. But I thought to myself, what would my dad want me to do? My dad would want me to finish school. I had a full ride academic scholarship. Why would I want to risk losing that? So I moved back home, helped my mom, planned the funeral, took 16 credit hours, full time was 12. I also had a full time job and I still managed to graduate a year and a half early. I've lived in three countries. I've been to 19 countries. I have my own business and every step of the journey, I remind myself, what would my dad say? Would my dad be proud? Is he smiling down from heaven? Life is short. You have to live your life. You have to embrace the good and the bad, and you have to overcome the obstacles that you're given because we never know how long we're gonna have on this earth. And I'm sure that your dad is proud. Thank you. Your second question before I get all emotional. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Um, <laughs> what's the most important contribution your country has given to the world? I don't know if it's the most important contribution, but right now, Ireland has actually had a lot of pharmaceutical techs and a lot of high-end tech companies move their headquarters to Ireland. Google, Facebook, Apple, they all have their new European headquarters in Ireland. It's partly because of the local workers, but also because we have really awesome tax breaks for big corporations. So it's actually really cool because it's opened up a lot of jobs in Ireland, but it's also created a lot of opportunity for international companies to save money and to open up more jobs in Europe as well as other parts of the world. So it's really awesome because we've seen a huge rise over the last five or six years economically, both for Ireland and for Europe in general, thanks to the tax cuts. Thank you. And your last question, which major world event in the past would you be willing to change and how would you change it? Honestly, for me, I, I think it touches really closely because my dad was a pastor and I'm Christian. And if I could have eliminated the Holocaust, I would. If I could go back in time and prevent everyone from being murdered and slaughtered and all those countries going through the hardships they went through, that would be, I would jump, jump straight in and do whatever I could to change that. I think that nobody should ever be punished for their beliefs, for their backgrounds for their economic situations, their race, their gender, anything like that, and for people to be punished just because of their upbringings, their beliefs, their religions, is just, 
it's so painful. And to change it, I think you need awareness, you need love, you need respect. And honestly, it takes a movement. It takes an entire nation, it takes an entire world, it takes an army. It wouldn't just be me. So obviously I'd have to find a way to make my voice heard to millions around the world. Maybe I have a time machine and I'm able to show them where we are today and how things have changed and influence them back in the day. Maybe I'm able to reach out to one person and make a difference with them and they're able to create a movement with me and we're able to get other people involved. I'm not sure how exactly I would do it, but if I could save even one soul, if I could help even one country, it would be absolutely worth it. Well, thank you. Thank that you. That was it. You're done. All right. <laughs> that was it. This is the end of Super Chats with Valeria. Thanks for watching our second semi-final. And now it's time to vote so you can get two of your favorites into the top 25 on December 6th in the finale of Miss Supernational.